Hey dolls, welcome back and again, Happy New Year. So this video is going to be on my favorites for 2011. I didn't want to do a December favorites. I wanted to just get myself together and do a um, an all-around favorites for the year. There were a lot of products that I really, really enjoyed using and I used quite a bit. Some of them you saw in tutorials. And some of them were things that I used on a regular basis, basis off camera. So enough with the rambling. I'm going to get started because I don't want this to be a 20 minute video. Okay. So first up is my Sigma Beauty Cleansing Tool. This is great. It leaves my skin feeling fresh. Um, exfoliated and all that stuff what I really like about it is the fact that it's not only for your face but you also have these two for your body as well and you can use your own you know skincare product on it you can use your own facial wash on it you don't have to buy anything specific like some other ones only work with their little pads um, so I really really like that and with it I use my Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser and then I follow that up with, why is my camera making that funny button? I follow up with the alcohol free toner. Okay so these two together works great. And what you do with the, the um, cleansing tube is you just pump a little bit on the brush where well, you can. What I tend to do is I'll actually put a little on my finger and just, you know, dab it around. And then I'll get that wet and I'll use it like that. So in terms of body, I love the Body Shop and I love their body butters. And these are two of my favorite ones. This is the Spiced Vanilla and this is the Brazil Nut. Um, when I first heard of the body shop, I was think I was in junior high, and the only thing I ever bought from them was the Brazil nut body butter, and it is just so delicious. I mean, I just got this, and I'm already hitting pan on that one. And for spiced vanilla, forget about it. Look at that. They smell so good, and they feel so good on your body. It's wonderful. Now, makeup. Eyeshadows. Um, I've really been getting a lot of use this year. Y'all know I love my Naked palette. Um, it got to a point where I needed to put this away because I realized I wasn't using anything else but this on a regular basis. So I had to put it away and tuck it, you know way down deep inside and it always managed to make its way back to the top but anywho this is the naked one palette and if you don't have it get it I don't know if I'm gonna get the naked too I'm not in a serious rush another one if you don't have the naked palette another one that's good is the coastal Sense 28 eyeshadow neutral palette I've been using this one a lot as well. And you get all these colors. And it's great, um, especially if you're a beginner or you just like your neutral colors. This is a great one as well. And this was only, what, $20, $20 I want to say? I'm not sure. Next up, which y'all have seen too many times, is my Beige Cosmetics. 120 palette the second edition i do have the fourth edition it was a gift and i think i've used that one about three times but throughout the year i reached for this palette and it's it's a wonderful palette you've got 120 colors for like 25 dollars i mean seriously $25 that's like one eyeshadow from another brand so there you go um, my other palette that I've been loving is my Inglot palette and these are custom you make them yourself you choose what colors you want in them if I can open it 
top is magnetized so and these are the colors I have I recently used this yellow here um, and this purple is oh, beautiful it's just beautiful 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 love and glob they need to lower their prices this crazy okay next up and I'm just going random I'm just grabbing stuff out of the basket and just showing them to you so they're not in any particular order um, next up I'm going to show you brushes that I've been loving on so first up eyeliner brushes I have been using my Sigma brush and it looks like that it's dirty now because I used it and it's the angled eyeliner this is the E65 and this one is actually smaller in width than this one and I love them both this is from Eco Tools and this one is great as well so I've been rotating between these two when this one's dirty I'm going with this one and then when this one's dirty I'm going with this one and vice versa so those are great next up is another Eco Tools brush and this brush can be used for concealer or eyeshadow. Um, I have used it for eyeshadow, but I tend to use it more to put on my primer, um, especially if I'm using a colored base. Okay, I don't use it for a primer. I use it to put my bases on. Primer, I just use my finger. But for a base, I grab this tool because I can kind of paint it on. Okay, and again, this is Eco Tools. Next is also from Sigma, and this is the short shader, 820, and that's what it looks like. And this is great for getting up under your lower lash line and getting color there. Wonderful. Next, also from Sigma, is the E30, and it looks like that. And this is just a great pencil brush for, I use it to define the crease, the outer V. I use it to get color up under there. I have even used it to use eyeshadow as a liner. Dry, not wet, dry. And I'll use that in there. And that's just a wonderful brush. And next, also from Sigma, this is their Precision Tapered Brush. And it looks like that and this is great for getting concealer under your eye and around your nose and it's also great for using powder to set the concealer under your eye as well and around the nose and just getting into those areas you know that you want to get into to highlight as well it's all around great again from Sigma I had to put this brush aside because it was just taking over. This is, again, Sigma, Round Top Kabuki, and it just blends the foundation in so well, especially liquid foundation. And as y'all can see, I have used it so much that it's just not letting go of the color. <laughs> and finally for brushes, this is the um, contour brush from Real Techniques from, um, can you see that? and then the name of it and it looks like that and it's a great contour brush to get in there get your temples also to get a highlight under there and these brushes are versatile for the most part you can use them to do anything it's a contour brush but if you want to buff out your eyeshadow you can use that as well too so that's it for brushes so for foundation um, I've been going for my Maybelline fit me foundation in 320 um, a lot of people don't like this and I guess it just depends on you and it depends on your skin and what you're looking for for me I like it because I don't feel like I have anything on even though I know that I do um, 
the sun is going through like menopause right now I don't my room just lit up seriously and um, I have no problems with this at all it's definitely very light if you're looking for full coverage foundation then this is not the one for you if you've got oily skin I would not recommend this because it does leave your skin looking kind of dewy which is great for me especially in the winter when my skin tends to look a lot more dry than it usually is so yeah next y'all seen this so many times my Mary Kay tinted moisturizer and I am bronze one I believe and this just like the Maybelline fit me I don't feel like I have anything on it goes on gives me the coverage that I want and I don't necessarily like full coverage I don't I want my skin to breathe um, but yeah that's my foundation um, lip products I'm just gonna take them all out um, oh I forgot a brush another brush also from the real techniques is the deluxe crease brush I don't know if it's going to focus on it, but this is what it looks like. And this is also, also a delicious brush. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. A great brush for putting on primer and bases, creams, whatever. It's great for that. It's great for con contouring. It's great for getting in the crease and buffing out, um, especially on the sides. It's just a great all-around brush, multi-purpose. And I love these brushes. I want to get the rest of them. Okay, in terms of lip products, I have been... Some of these products y'all already know because I've been ODing on them for forever. Okay, so first off is my Chanel Lip Gloss in Unity. It's not going to zoom in on the name. I don't know if you're gonna, you can see the CC on it. Can you see that? Okay. And it's immunity. It's a great lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss. Um, Every day wear, especially if you can't decide on a color to put on. Next is NYX Lip Gloss in Tanned. And this is what it looks like. Next is also from NYX. And this one is called Desert. And this is what it looks like. Next is African Queen. This is by far my favorite NYX lip gloss. This was the very first lip gloss that I got from NYX. African Queen. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love that lip gloss that I've replaced that lip gloss three times next is their soft matte lip cream in Abu Dhabi Abu Dhabi Abu Dhabi y'all remember this from before when I couldn't didn't want to pronounce it but I was informed that I pronounced it right Abu Dhabi and it's the NYX um, lip cream soft matte lip cream it smells like cake I mean I've said that too many times and for lipsticks, two lipsticks that I've been loving is Cream, Cream Curve, Style Curve by MAC, which looks like that. It's called Style Curve, and this was limited edition, so sorry guys, can't get this. I guess you could check your local CCO. And the next one is Peach Stock. Oh, this is like my favorite peach stock and I think this was limited edition I'm not sure you can check the website don't quote me on it and um, oh, lastly <laughs> from NYX is just clear great to top off any lipstick that you're wearing especially if you're putting on a matte lipstick and you want a little more um, 
sheen to it, gloss to it, a clear lipstick, lipstick, clear lip gloss, and that's from NYX. Lip liners. I've been reaching for three. Y'all know what my first one is going to be. Portside by MAC. And it's one of the um, spinny uppers. Looks like that. It's a wonderful color that I find goes with practically everything. And I mean everything. Everything. The next two are from NYX. And the first one is Current. And you're going to focus. Okay. There we go. Current. And it looks like that. It's a nice kind of burgundy-ish color. And the next one is Earth Tone. Also by NYX. Looks like that. And I've been conditioning my lip with the EOS little eggy thing. And I believe this one is tangerine. Yep, this one is tangerine. I've been using the lemon, the tangerine, the honeydew melon, and the summer fruit one. I've heard a lot about the mint. I haven't gotten a mint yet. And they just, you know, look like that. And they smell great. Smell great. My son thought my lemon was candy. And we'll just leave it at that. Okay, now... I have been using to clean my brushes and I know a lot of you wanted to see me do a cleaning how I clean my brush video and I will get it up I promise I will but when I clean my brushes I've been actually using the beauty blender cleaner I have to admit this stinks I don't know it it, it stinks but it cleans well so I use that I also use the Perion spirit which is God's gift to every makeup artist and makeup enthusiast alike. And the Wet n Wild Eye Makeup Remover. Yes, this is eye makeup remover. Yes, I use this to clean my makeup off my eyes. And yes, I use this to clean makeup out of my brushes. What better way to get eye makeup out of brushes but to use eye makeup remover. Um, it just gets it out so much better than Max Brush Cleaner. I don't know. Um, I've even taken to use baby shampoo, which is like my my base, my number one go-to is Johnson & Johnson's baby shampoo, Rite Aid baby shampoo, whatever. Just get a baby shampoo, a simple baby shampoo, and I will add in a little of the Beauty Blender. But the first thing I do is I try to spot clean my brushes after I use them with the Perion Spirit, and then... I will hit them up with some of the eye makeup remover and just let them sit for about two minutes. In the meantime, I'll get some warm water in the little bowl with the baby shampoo and the beauty blender cleanser. And I use that and that's how I clean my brushes. Um, next, eye primers. I have been using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance a lot. Um, I really like the Urban Decay one, but the one I had in the professional size tube, it just seemed to get hard in the tube and was a pain to get out. So eventually I just clipped the top and I stuck it in a little container, kind of like the MAC thingies, and I threw it in my kit. And then I've also been using the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. This came in a three pack. And I find this to be better than the original one that I first bought when I first started building my makeup collection. Um, I didn't like that one. That one to me was a oh, really, really greasy. Really, to me, or oh, maybe I just got a bad batch, but it was really greasy, so I never liked it. And then this came in a set with this one, a darker one, and a white. <laughs> and this is the one I've been liking a lot. And again, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance is my go-to. Also on the eyes, I've been loving these two eyeliners, the L'Oreal Hip Cream Eyeliner and the, I don't know if this is going to pick up, the Ruby Kisses Gel HD Gel Liner. They've got, I think, six colors, teal, gold, black, brown, purple, and blue. And the same thing for the L'Oreal Hip Teal 
they don't have gold but they have the teal the brown the blue the black and the purple and both of these are great inexpensive I don't like the wet and wild liner at all at all at all and I really don't care for the max black track fluid line um, I keep that in my kit because you know some people when you working on their face they like to see the brand that you're using so for their sake I use that one on them but I don't care for it so and when it runs out I'm probably not gonna buy it I'm probably just gonna go to Rite Aid um, another thing that I've been loving are my Mac paint pots y'all know I have a collection of them um, but I have been digging on groundwork it's a great flesh tone my color skin tone base and I'm just so glad that it's a permanent color and not a um, limited edition that way when this one runs out I can go with that it just gives a nice even canvas to lay your eyeshadow down upon and it also gives it something for the eyeshadow to stick to and makes the colors really pop yeah and um, the other one is other two I'm sorry painterly you gonna focus there you go as and painterly looks like this this is a lighter one and the other one is constructivist these are all from the um that's constructivist these are all permanent so you don't have to worry about them unless they just decide to discontinue now next nail polish wet and wild they came out with the fast dry and these are fabulous and I'm gonna tell you why because I can be very impatient when it comes to certain things sitting around excuse me waiting for nail polish to dry does not work for me I can't do it I, I can't do it the ladies in the nail salon constantly yell at me mommy sit down sit down your, your nails are not dry and I'm like I gotta go I got things to do I can't sit here wait for this to dry when I saw these bad boys that was it I pick up a couple of these that way I could put my nail polish on it's dry in 60 seconds and I can keep it moving they're very pigmented um, depending on which one you put on you may not even need two coats what I have on my nails right now is actually one coat and that's obviously it's not this color but it's only one coat I really don't need another coat on it um, just some clear polish on it but these are what a dollar ninety nine a lot of times you can get them for buy one get one free buy one get one fifty percent off so get them all and they dry super fast so if you're like me and you've got four kids you've got dishes to clean you've got food to cook you've got groceries to buy you've got errands to run you've got ballet to get to football and you need to get your nails done you need to be out the door in 10 minutes these are the way to go next up for my eyes is this smash box little thingy it's called fusion soft lights and what I like about this is first of all it's versatile I have rubbed the brush around the whole thing and used it as a blush or a bronzer I have taken the individual colors and used them as eyeshadows as highlights as highlight there and it just comes in handy I mean this is something you can keep in your pocketbook and when you're on the run just take your finger you know get something on your lid and it can totally change up I don't know if they sell these by themselves. I think I got this in one of those sets from Sephora. I have been loving these Ulta eyeliners. Is it going to focus in on the word? Yes, it is. Thank you. And they're so small. I mean, look at this. Look how tiny that is. But the, the glitter, you know, put it right there in your inner corner and you're good to go love it I have a number of their liners and but that's the, my favorite for blush I have been ODing on two blushes Fantastic Au Mauve by Milani Fantastic Au Mauve and from NYX Copper y'all seen Copper 
in so many of my videos. I'm sorry, y'all, but I just really, really like this. Gives a nice bronzy kind of glow. And last but definitely not least are my MAC Luster Drops. And you use these to add highlight to wherever you need it. Or you can add some of this to your foundation and then get an all over glow. This is especially great in the summer. Oh my goodness, when you want that glow and you don't want to spray yourself with a whole bunch of stuff, just put some of this in your foundation and you'll get it. And it's just beautiful. So that's enough of my ramblings for today. Um, again, welcome to 2012. Let's make this year bigger and better than 2011. Whatever was happening in 2011, leave it in 2011. Look straight ahead, look forward, and take it easy. Love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.